Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another piece of media gear that I think you're going to really like. It's the WHD-Pro2T-K wireless presentation system from our good friends over at O-Ray. And this solution allows you to very easily share a single monitor with two different media devices at a distance of up to 100 feet over a wireless connection in full high definition 1080p resolution. The product makes it incredibly easy to share that media content by simply connecting these up to any device, which will then broadcast that media signal to the receiver so you can display it on a monitor. It's the perfect solution if you have a conference room where you've got one display that has to be shared among a bunch of presenters, or even at home if you have a widescreen TV in your media center and need to connect up a bunch of different media devices to it, you basically connect up the device to your media player, hit the button, and you can share that display. The other thing that's really nice about it is the unit does a split screen where you can actually have two different media streams on the display at the same time. And finally, the product can be expanded to 32 individual transmitters, so you can have a lot of different devices connected at the same time and easily switch between them. The product will also accept signals from devices that can natively broadcast over a similar connection, so you don't even need the transmitters if you have a tablet or a phone or a laptop that can use some of those modern transmission standards. Now, as part of this review, I always like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the receiver unit and the transmitter modules to show you all the connections that are available so you can use it with your own equipment. I'll come back and I'll actually do a demonstration here to show you just how easy it'll be to use, and then finally, I'll come back and point out a few other things that are really interesting about the product and separated from all the other transmission systems on the market that you'll typically use for presentations. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the receiver module, a power supply, it's a five volt, two amp power supply. This end plugs into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the receiver module. That's all the power you'll need. The kit also includes two transmitter modules. And these have a USB-A connection on it, which plugs into any available port on the device that you'd like to send the media from, and that's for power. And it also has an HDMI connection on it where the media is connected up to the transmitter. And you can remove this and use a longer cable if you need, so it's very flexible. Also included with the kit is a full instruction manual that explains everything you need to know about using the product, specifications, connection diagrams, all the things that are important, and understanding exactly how to use this with your own equipment. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the modules, explain how they work, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Now we'll take a closer look at both the transmitter and receiver modules, and I'll start with the transmitter module. The case is high impact plastic, which makes it really lightweight and very durable. Really nice finish on the top. You'll notice two main buttons, a larger one and a smaller one. This is called the side button. The connections on this end are HDMI and a USB-A port right here, and that's for power. The HDMI obviously is for connecting up your media device. And again, you can disconnect this and use a standard HDMI cable between this transmitter module and your device. It's also magnetic on the back, so you can attach this to anything that's metal. You can see that it'll stick on. Now, as far as the button operation goes, this is the main button that you request presenting. So if you tap that once, it'll turn from red to white, and that means whatever's connected to this will be broadcast to the receiver for transmission. If you wanna take over the whole screen, you'll hold this for three seconds. The smaller button gives you a couple of controls as well. You can actually tap that once, and that allows the guest to mirror. You can double click it, and that'll deny the request. And if you hold it for three seconds, that'll quit all displays. So you have a lot of control from here over who's displaying what, and if you're splitting a screen or giving somebody else control of the screen. Now we'll take a look at the receiver module. Again, high impact plastic case, two antennas. You'll want to have these straight up for best reception. And having two antennas also gives you a lot better coverage in the room. So if you're moving around, you're not going to have issues with it actually picking up the signal. On the front, there were four indicators, power, LAN connection, USB, and 5G. When you power up the unit, this will flash for a couple of seconds when it's going through its power on self-test, and that'll be on in a normal operation. The LAN connection pertains to the RJ45 connector on the back, and I'll show you that. Same thing with the USB and the 5G. The 5G means you've made a connection to one of the transmitter units. On the bottom of the unit, there are a couple of holes that you can use for mounting this if you want to to a wall or up off the ground. And on the rear is where you'll make all your connections. Starting on the left is a power port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll plug the other end into a wall outlet. The barrel connector plugs right there. You've got a power button right there. You can turn it on and off, and that's kind of nice because if you're not using it, you'll definitely want to turn it off during the evenings to not waste electricity. To the right of that is a full-size USB-A port, and what that's used for is if you buy additional transmitter modules, you'll need to sync those up or bind those, if you will, to the receiver unit, and the way you'll do that is just plug in the USB-A port on the transmitter module, the new one, into this USB port right here, and it'll take a couple seconds and they'll actually bind up so it knows, the receiver knows that the transmitter should be part of that group. 
So the right of that is an ethernet port. What's interesting about that is you can connect that up to a local network that'll actually allow you to control this and share content from a laptop by coming in through a web browser. So it gives you a lot of control over how this unit works and how you can share content. Finally, there's an HDMI output port here, and that'll connect up to whatever display you'd like to show all the content from the transmitters uh, on that display. So it's where your connection goes from here to that display to actually give you the output from this on a larger monitor. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, I have two media devices set up right over here, a laptop and a small media player, and I purposely chose two different styles of devices to show you how this product works equally well across a wide range of devices as long as they have a standard HDMI connection. Now right now the laptop is displaying an image of a laptop and the media player is displaying an image of a media player just to make it easy to tell them apart. Over here I have a single display set up and that's where I'll broadcast the content from these two media devices wirelessly to the receiver unit. In front of me, I have two transmitter modules and a single receiver module. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the receiver, and I'll start by connecting the HDMI cable from the monitor to the HDMI output port in the back of the receiver. Then I'll connect up the power. I've already plugged it in. The barrel connection plugs right into the power port in the back. Now the minute I add power to that module, it actually starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. When it passes that test, it checks the resolution of the monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give it the best possible picture. Once it finishes that, it starts looking for transmitter modules that it can bind to to accept the media stream to display on the monitor. So let's connect up one of the transmitter modules and I'll start with the laptop. On the one side over here, I've got a HDMI connection, and right next to it, I've got a USB-A connection. Now, the minute I add power to this unit by plugging that USB-A connection in, it starts an internal power on self-test as well, where it's checking the electronics, make sure they're working okay. It's also checking the resolution of the media stream being sent to it, so it can make adjustments if needed before broadcasting it to the receiver unit. Now, that was flashing a second ago when it was going through that testing, and now that it's solid red, it's ready to transmit the media from here to the receiver, and I like the fact that it doesn't just start transmitting. It actually gives you control over when it's gonna transmit that media. Now, to actually send this video, to the monitor, I tap that button once. So if I tap it, it turns white, and then it starts transmitting this media content to the monitor, and it'll be up there on the display. Now let's connect up the media player. And again, in the back of this, I've got an HDMI connection right here, and next to it, I've got a USB-A connection. And again, once I plug that in, you'll see this will start flashing red. As soon as I have power to it, same self-test going on there, checking the resolution of the media stream. Once it's done, that's gonna stop blinking. Now here's what's interesting. Right now I'm broadcasting from here to the receiver, this one's ready now to broadcast over. So what I do is hit this button, which is basically a video mute. It turns this one off, and then I can tap this button. It'll turn white, and it'll send that media content to the receiver. There you go. Now, one interesting feature of this receiver is I can send multiple media streams to the receiver at the same time, and it'll split the monitor display to show both of those media streams. So right now I've got the media player up. All I have to do is tap this button. It'll turn white. It'll take a second for it to make the adjustment for the resolution because these are at different resolutions. And there you go. I can see my laptop there and I can see my media player there. So it gives you a ton of control from both the transmitter modules and the receiver module to decide how the media content's displayed on your monitor and who gets to display what and when. You can control it from here or you can control it from the transmitter modules. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope the closer look and demonstration were helpful in showing you just how easy it'll be to use this product to share multiple media streams wirelessly with a single monitor up to 100 feet away. Now here are a few things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray WHD-Pro2T-K wireless presentation system with others you may be considering. And the first few points I'd like to make are around the transmitter modules because competing solutions typically offer a single or multiple transmitter modules and a single receiver. But it's really important you check to see if those systems are expandable later on because you may start off with two transmitter modules and really enjoy using the product. You want to add a third one and you'll find out that some of the competing solutions don't allow you to expand the number of transmitters. With the O-Ray system, you can expand this up to 32 dedicated transmitter modules and O-Ray offers those as add-ons later on, which is really nice because you may 
may start off with two, need a third, need a fourth, you just pick up additional transmitter modules and those immediately bind to the receiver and you can share media content from those devices. Another key feature of the receiver on this one is the fact that in addition to the media it can receive from those transmitter modules, if you have a device that can naturally broadcast through a share a screen function, a lot of software out there nowadays can do that, whether it's a phone, a tablet, or a laptop, if you share that screen, the receiver will pick that up so it can actually blend media content from the dedicated transmitter modules and devices that can naturally broadcast that. So it's a really nice hybrid system. Now, as far as the transmitter modules go, a couple of cool things about them. Number one, I love the design. It's high impact plastic, really lightweight. They were clever and they built the magnet in the back so you can actually stick this on any metal surface to get it up and out of the way. The HDMI connection on the unit is not bound to the unit. Now that's different than a lot of the other competing solutions. A lot of them have the transmitter module and the cable formed as one. And the downside to that is you're stuck with whatever length of cable they ship with the unit. With the O-Ray system, you can unplug the HDMI cable and use any standard HDMI cable between here and your media device, which gives you a lot more flexibility. The power is also another consideration. A lot of the competing solutions on the market require a dedicated power supply, and then you've got to worry about plugging in a bunch of stuff at the desk, uh, and the power supplies can go bad down the road. You've got to find a replacement power supply. What O-Ray did, which I think is really clever, is they've got a USB-A connection right here that can plug into any USB-A port on your device, whether it's a media player, a laptop, whatever it happens to be, there's always an available USB-A port on there. You can plug this in, and that's all the power you need. So it's incredibly easy to use. Also, the transmitters give you a lot of control. Some of the other competing solutions are just a dumb transmitter, and you've got to control everything from the receiver. With this one, you can control it from the transmitter. So you've got a button here that can actually blind the media you're sending, so you can share it with somebody else. You can also share split screen with somebody else. So you have a lot of control over exactly what's being broadcast from each of your media devices. Now, as the receiver goes, they've got dual antennas, which is really important. A lot of the other ones have either internal antennas, which are not that great, or they've got a single antenna. By having dual antennas, it it gives you the ability to walk around the room or have different positions in the room and still pick up a rock solid signal. 1080p media content requires a lot of bandwidth, so having dual antennas really helps a lot with that. I also like the fact, like I mentioned before, that I can blend dedicated transmitter modules with other devices that can naturally broadcast signals and pick those both up. You have a lot of control at the receiver unit as well as far as which presenter is presenting, whether they get the entire screen or you're going to split a screen between presenters. So it gives you a lot of control over how that media content is displayed and who gets to take over that display during the presentation. And other than that, I think it's a great system. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to use. I came upon this because I needed to share a bunch of laptops in a presentation in a conference room, and it was really difficult sort of passing an HDMI cable around because everybody had different resolutions on their devices and you have to fiddle around with that stuff. These transmitters, when they connect up to a device, look at the device, check the resolution of the device, and make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best signal forward. So the minute I plug this in, it automatically does everything I would naturally do by plugging a cable in and having to fiddle with those resolution settings. So it's just a simple solution to use. I've since expanded it to four units. I like it an awful lot and it works really well. So hopefully you found this clip helpful. And until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.